Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. Now guys, I will teach you about insert query in MySQL. Guys, I will divide this tutorial in two parts. In this video, I will teach you about insert query, means how you can insert data in MySQL tables. And in the next video, I will teach you that how can you insert the PHP form data in MySQL tables. Means in this tutorial, I will just tell you about insert query and in the next video we will insert the form data with the help of insert query so we will click on SQL because I will show you insert query firstly I'll remove this so the insert query will be we will write insert into and after that we will enter the table name so the table name is students record students record then two brackets in between these two brackets we will write the name of the columns column 1 like comma column 2 so we will write the name of the column and the name of the column is name columns are name email address joining date we will not enter the ID because uh, we have applied the primary key and auto increment on it so it will be auto generated so first column name will be name and then we will enter uh, press uh, enter comma then email then comma then address comma and then joining date so the query is insert into table name is students record then but, uh, between these two brackets we will write the name of the columns in which we want to insert the values name email address joining date then after these two brackets we will write values now in between these two brackets we will enter the values so we can enter the values in single quotes or double quotes whatever you want to use so there are four columns so first uh, the value of name column will be I will enter the name Rishabh and second column is email so I will enter Rishabh at gmail.com then the third column is address so I will enter India and the fourth column is joining date so the joining date we will write in a format means firstly year will come then month and then date here is 2014 then hyphen then the month is second Feb then the date is 21 so this is the query insert into table name table name is students oh sorry students record then column names name email address join it then we will enter values this is a keyword then after that we will in the brackets we will enter the values like rishab rishab at gmail.com which is for email then address india then joining date is 2014 second means feb and 21 is date so now after that we will enter click on go you can see one row inserted row id 7 because i have already inserted uh, i have deleted my first five rows so it will be auto increment means seven if I'll enter make a new record so again we will click on SQL now again we will use the insert query to insert a new record insert into table name is students record then column names guys it is not mandatory that you need to enter every column name suppose I want to just enter the value also of name and email so I'll enter name comma email then values then values will be name like I want uh, Nathan then email Nathan at gmail dot com so now I'll click on go you can see one row inserted I will click on browse you can see its ID will be it means it is auto incrementing by one so Nathan and the rest of the uh, columns will be null means no value will be inserted here you can see now guys I will tell you what is the main benefit of primary key I will click on SQL suppose I am entering a new record insert into students record then column name I will enter an ID comma name then values suppose I am entering ID 
7 which is all, already ins uh, inserted name I am entering Kapoor now guys you will see what will happen because this ID is already there so if I will try to uh, you can see duplicate entry 7 key for key primary means primary key is set on ID column so if I will try to enter any uh, duplicate value then it will not enter because it will return an error that you can't enter so insert duplicate value now if I will in enter 9 it will be inserted you can see because I will click on browse you can see because 9 is not uh, was not already there so if uh, means it will remove the duplicacy the main purpose of primary key is it will remove the duplicacy and we have used auto increment on this column as well on ID so it will auto increment by one when we will insert a new row so this is the so this is about uh, insert query in MySQL in the next video I will show you that how can you insert the form data in MySQL tables means we will insert the form uh, the data in these tables using PHP form so guys if you still have any question you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next trial